bolo right here. Absolutely love this bolo. Would you have picked these up, number one? I don't know if I would have or not, but if I ever see them, I am definitely going to pick them up. I just think this is one of the coolest things ever. Um, and I think she said she just wanted to see if she could sell them. So she sold these for a best offer of $40 and she got them at a thrift store for two bucks. Okay, so let me know in the comments if you love this bolo. Hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, I've got featured members bolos coming your way. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Most of these items sold on eBay. Looks like there's a Mercari sale, but these are items that you want to look for when you're out. You want a bolo for them. Uh, these are items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a nice profit. A lot of these are big money bolos. You're definitely going to learn a lot. I know that I did. And again, these are featured members of my channel, which means they have joined memberships for perks. If you would like to join memberships to be in a video just like this, you can join at level two. And there's a link down in the description. If not, no worries. My channel is completely free. Membership is for perks only. All right. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, I mostly share about bolo items, so be sure to check out another video after this. And let's get started. All right, the first item comes from Franklin Hill Ventures, and this is his YouTube channel. Definitely go over and give him a sub. Uh, links to all of the people featured in this video will be down in the description, their YouTube channels and their eBay stores. This first item he sold is a 19, I'm sorry, not 19, 1883. It's some sort of eighth edition book. Looks kind of, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Looky here, look at the condition. Oh my, oh my, wowza. What, what is happening in that wowza? Okay, well, moving on. He sold this book for $86 on auction with free shipping. I'm not sure what I just saw there. Okay, the next item here, um, I had to pull this up on Facebook because he sold this in his booth. So he not only sells on multiple platforms, but he has booths that he sells in. And really cool display here. Check this out. He sold this rug. He got it at a yard sale for $5 and flipped it in his booth for 100 bucks. The next item he sold is this map. And I really like how he shared the photo with us. And I really think this is maybe another area where a lot of people could branch out and do something locally to kind of sell bigger items and stuff. So if you have a booth, let me know in the comments. How's it going for you? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's not worth it? Uh, just give us some feedback. Uh, let's see, $35 at an estate sale and he sold it in his booth for $300. So that is fantastic. The next item comes from Donatella Bottolino and she sells to resellers. Um, she wholesales things out. She goes out and she sources for you. And then you go to her channel and she does live shows and you can buy from her, her and auctions for you. Both will be linked down in the description. Um, go back and forth on each other's channels and basically sell stuff to us. I have a bunch of videos of items I have bought from both of them and listed on eBay. And I show you exactly how I unlist, <laughs> unlist them, unbox them. And I show you exactly how I listed everything. So definitely check it out because they are still educational unboxings. All right. So Donna has really been slacking on her eBay store. She really just posts things so that she can be featured in these videos. But she only had one sale that I could share that I haven't already shared. And it's this Lemax Spooky Town Goosebumps Manor. And uh, one of her viewers that watches her show on a consistent basis actually bought this from her. I was there during the show. And she sold this for $75 free shipping. Lemax Spooky Town is a fantastic thing to put, pick up. If you ever see it, definitely look it up. All right, the next item was sold by 1987 Ventures, Tracy. 
check out her YouTube channel. It will be linked down below as well. And I just love this bolo right here. Absolutely love this bolo. Would you have picked these up, number one? I don't know if I would have or not, but if I ever see them, I am definitely going to pick them up. I just think this is one of the coolest things ever. Um, and I think she said she just wanted to see if she could sell them. So she sold these for a best offer of $40 and she got them at a thrift store for two bucks. Okay, so let me know in the comments if you love this bolo. Totally something I would do. Pick those up and try to sell them. So they're old hand crocheted knitted wooden hangers, coat hangers. The next item she sold, this is a brand I've never heard of. And she sold these on Mercari. And I'm probably going to say it wrong. Is it Le Artiste Spiral Red Leather Uno Slip-On Platform Comfort Shoes? And she got these at a church sale for $1 and sold them for $72 plus shipping on Mercari. This is a signed Alan Hovenus Mysterious Mountain CD. Um, 20 cents at a thrift store. And she sold this for $99.87. So I'm not sure if this, I'm guessing it sold more because it's signed. I mean, check it out. What do you guys think? Pretty cool. Wow. Some things just amaze me. The next item comes from Don's One Stop and Shop, and he does not have a YouTube channel, but this is his eBay store. It will be linked down below as well. And he's got one for us this month. The other two I gave him, uh, I think somebody returned one of them or backed out of the sale, canceled. You guys know how that goes. Uh, this is a 1965 Zippo lighter, U.S. Naval uh, lighter. And he got this at a yard sale for $15, and he took a best offer of $180. So some of these vintage and uh, Zippo lighters with the different prints on the front, definitely look them up. They can be big money. The next one comes from Antiques from Karen Janet, and she um, inherited a bunch of stuff from her mother. Uh, she calls it, uh, she called her mother a hoarder, but she was a hoarder who collected stuff and sold it. So I guess all resellers are kind of hoarders. I feel like my money mountain is a little bit of a hoard right now. If anybody can relate, comment hoarder in the comments because I kind of feel like that right now. All right. What did she sell? She sold these mugs. They are Takashanini, I don't know, coffee mugs, speckled stoneware, wildflower herb, 1970s. She sold these for full price of $60 plus shipping. And these were a part of her mother's estate. The next one is this Napco Shamrock Planter with Elves. Super, super cute. 1961 Belford. Here is the bottom. If you'd like to see what that looks like. She sold this for a best offer of $110 plus shipping. And the last one here is this Majorette Racing Car Transporter. And she sold this actually for a best offer of $45 plus shipping. And again, these were all from her mother's um, estate. The next item comes from Cha-Ching King, and he is a bolo finder, and he's also doing a lot of videos to help people that are newer resellers. So if you are newer to the game, like shipping made easy, um, 10 things I wish I would have known before selling on eBay, uh, listing first, listing your first item on eBay. So definitely helping out the newbies here. So if that's you, check out his channel. But if you're looking for big money bolos and entertainment, he's also got that. So check him out. All right. He has this a vintage large Mexican pottery folk art bus. He got this at an estate sale for $1 and he sold it for a best offer of $150 plus shipping. The next item is this arts and crafts Heinz sterling silver on bronze metal cigarette box and ashtray. And he got this at an estate sale for $4 and took a best offer of $149. The next item here is this vintage 16 inch mid-century modern lampshade. And he has sold two of these. He got these at an estate sale for $4 and took a best offer of 85 on this. So check it out. Pretty cool, right? I don't think I would wanna ship a lampshade. <laughs> You'd have to just find the right box, right? The next item comes from Toledo Antique. They also do live shows over on their channel where they sell stuff to viewers. And they've been doing some how to pack lately. So 
Again, if you're looking to learn about packing fragile items, they are a great channel because they sell a lot of breakables, antiques, vintage items over there on their channel. They sold, and you'll see what I mean here, vintage William Yale Ward green glass leaded crystal. And it says Bess water goblets. They got these at a thrift store for 12 bucks and sold them for $400. So I would have looked at these and been like, ah, okay, I don't want to ship those. I never would have thought that they were $400. Like not, not any part of me would have thought these were worth money. Now, if I saw the bottom here, I may have looked it up because it looks like that's etched into the bottom. The next item they sold, <laughs> Ah, they're crazy. They're crazy. They like to ship this stuff. They torture themselves with shipping this stuff. They have a video where they show you how they shipped a huge set on their channel. Um, I always say this one wrong, so I'm just going to spell it for you. It's L -I I'm sorry, L-I-M-O-G-E-S. And I wish I could think of how it's pronounced right now, but I just cannot. Uh, sold it for $20. Got it at an, I'm sorry, got it at an estate sale for $20 and sold it for $179 plus shipping. This is another one, Vintage Crown Staffordshire Fine Bone China Breakfast Tea Set, set of nine, $18 at an estate sale and sold it on auction for $99.99. So I don't know about you guys, but that would take me like over an hour to package. And I would be so scared that it would not bake it. So to me, I would not be willing to do that for $100. Now, the ones that sold for $400, I'd probably do that one. Let me know what you think about shipping sets of fine china uh, in the comments. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Is it no big deal? Would love to hear your opinions down in the comments. All right, this one comes from Antiques at Wandering Creek. No YouTube channel. This is her eBay store. Definitely check her out down below. And she sold some cool stuff here. She sold this elephant stand and crystal ball. I I think it's just some, I, I don't know if it's blown glass because, and those are like the bubbles inside of it. I have no idea, but it's a really, really interesting, unique piece. She got this from an estate sale. I believe it was a neighbor's and she paid five bucks for it and took a best offer of 70 with free shipping. The next item is another type thing. Um, glass art fishing float frog so this one same estate sale five bucks and sold it for 69.95 free shipping this little owl and it's a figurine let me see the bottom here this is what it says on the bottom and always you know if if you see this on the bottom they're pretty easy to look up so you can figure out the value she got this at a private buy in a big lot and has approximately $11 in it and sold it for $79.50. The next item comes from Mindful Recycle. And you want to talk about a Bolo finder? Um, I just did a video featuring 50 items that she sold for $100 or more. She is a major Bolo finder. Now, she will pay up for her items if she knows that she's going to make big money on it. So check out that video if you haven't already and sub her up if you haven't already. All right. So what did she sell? She sold this vintage Murano green bird with gold flecks on branch glass figure made in Italy. And she got this at a garage sale for five bucks. And she did end up taking a lower offer on this to move it. And she took an offer of $40. The next item are these Houseworks Vintage Dollhouse Hardware Brass Key Plates, Hinges, and Doorknobs. So you guys, these are for dollhouses. How cute are those? Love it. Um, these came from an estate. Uh, she bought a big lot of dollhouse items for $20. So she's got about two bucks in this and sold it for $79.97 plus shipping. This unloading mail car set by Tyco. Uh, let's see. It says HO scale postal car and station with controller. Got it at an estate sale for $3 and sold it for $99.97. The next item comes from Jack's Treasures and they do storage units. They are also over on TikTok. I'm guessing it's Jack's Treasures over there also, but not 100% sure. If you guys are watching, let me know what your TikTok name is in the comments so people can go follow you if, they're on, if they are on TikTok. All right. 
they sold this vintage Versace lion head belt. And this one, they got out of a storage unit and they sold it for $180 plus shipping. The next item also came out of a storage unit is a Sony PCM-M1 portable rec uh, recorder, as is parts only. So it is untested. It powers on, but it's untested. Uh, sold it for $120 plus shipping. The next item they sold is, uh-oh, sorry about that. This right here, these Black Label Society lot of four pint glasses, hard to find beer glasses, sold for $81.90 plus shipping, and those also came out of a storage unit. Anytime Picker, all right, you guys, he's got reseller content over on his channel. He's at 529 subscribers. Let's help him get to 100. Sub him up down below. And he sold this Richard Glasser. It's a nutcracker, a wood nutcracker. And he got this at a Goodwill. He did pay up for it. He paid up uh, $12.88 and it sold for $149 plus shipping. And I think he said it took a little while to sell. Precious moments. I've had the time of my life. Seven inch figure. Uh, garage sale, $1 and sold it for $129. So here is what the bottom looks like. So definitely. Oh, look, it's from, is, is that Dirty Dancing? Oh, that's hilarious. Oh my goodness. Um, Precious moments. Some of them can still go for some big money. That's so funny. Uh, vintage My Pet Monster. These are a bolo. Some of them go for more than others. There's My Pet Monster, which is the bigger guy with the handcuffs. He is definitely a bolo. This guy, he got at the Goodwill for $2.29 and sold him for $69 plus shipping. The next item comes from Mutton Ridge Finds. No YouTube channel, but here are just some of the items in her eBay store. So definitely check her out. I know she just listed some really fantastic Disney items. So check that out. These are a lot of five small white Murano uh, art glass lampshades. And she got these at her honey hole for two bucks. And she took a best offer of 120 on those. This vintage Fisher Price Little People fire station, she purchased from T over on YouTube channel Auctions for You. She bought a big toy lot from her. So she had about $15 in this and took a best offer of $125. So if you are looking for inventory, uh, definitely check out Auctions for You and Donatella Bottolino. I buy from them all the time. Highly recommend them. I've got tons of videos on my channel of unboxings where I show you how I list everything and how you can make money sourcing on YouTube. The next item is this vintage Sarah Coventry lot of 15 brooches, pendants, clip earrings, bracelets, 60s and up. And she got this in a jewelry lot. She paid $10 for the lot and she took a best offer of $85 on this. And this last item she threw in as a bonus for us all. It says vintage rubber toy doll. It's a baby boy and it's 1.5 inches and it's from the 1950s. Look at this little guy. Is that interesting or what? It's rubber. Huh, just crazy. She got it at the bottom of a box of stuff she bought. So she's got about two cents in it and it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. You guys know I love to sell like different weird stuff. Like I'll pick it up and I'll be like, hmm, I wonder if I can sell this. And then I sell it and I bring it to you guys and I'm like, yep, I sold it. I really like to do stuff like that. So that's why. I love those hangers because that one just kind of caught me by surprise. So that was my favorite bolo. It wasn't the biggest money one, but it is definitely something that I would consider picking up that maybe I would have walked past. So let me know in the comments, what was your favorite bolo? Drop me a hat emoji in the comments. And if you're new here, tell me how you found the channel. And thanks so much to all my new subscribers and all of my old subscribers. You guys are all amazing. I appreciate you so much. If you're interested in being in a, uh, featured in a video like this, you do not have to have a YouTube channel. I can feature your eBay store as seen. Um, you can join memberships at level two. It's $4.99 a month and it gets you in the video. And I'd love for you to join if that's something you're interested in. Again, you guys, memberships are for perks. My channel is completely free. Thank you again. And there's going to be videos. I almost said bye. <laughs> there's going to be videos up here and a subscribe and videos down below. So again, thanks for watching.
Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.